Hi everybody, welcome to Kelly's Art Throb. I'm Kelly and I'm here to brighten your day a little bit and bring you some recess. In our recess, we don't have to share if we don't want to and there's no one here to hit us in the face with a dodgeball. Today, we're gonna to play with some new art supplies and get a first impression of water-soluble pastels. I'm using the Lyra brand, which is about half the price of Caran d'Ache, and spoiler alert, they seem pretty great to me. I'm gonna do a spread in one of my DIY sketchbooks. It has Fabriano Artistico Hot Press 90 pound watercolor paper, just in case you wanna know what I'm using. And I'm going to mix it up with some Liquitex Clear Gesso and later on some Posca paint markers and black fine liners and maybe some other pens too, we'll see. Don't you love the way this gets so vibrant when you add the gesso or the water? I really do. Now, I should, probably should have used the side of the crayon instead of the point, but I kind of wanted to see just how melty it would be, and I think it would probably be smoother if I had not used the point of the crayon, but just used the side. In hindsight, I probably should have used a bigger brush and I just didn't think about it. I don't know. I don't have that many acrylic brushes out. Um, but what I am struck by is I didn't really lay that I didn't lay that much down. I can't talk. I didn't lay that much crayon down. And look how much that, for what I put down, it's a lot. So I probably could have gotten a smaller wash if I had just laid down more of, you know, more of it. But I also wanted to make it more of a background, not, you know, it's a background for all this other stuff that I'm doing. I'm telling you, using that gesso instead of just plain water, that really made it easy for the Posca markers and the ink to show up. Um, I will always use this when I do that. It's just so vibrant. I love it. I really love the way this is turning out with the doodles on top of this and I'm definitely gonna do this in the future for more serious pieces this one is just play but you know what sometimes you just have to be a kid you have to go outside and twirl in the sunlight 
and roll down the hill and get dizzy and just play. These colors are so summer and it's so cold. And um, a lot of the people who are probably watching are getting snowed in. Um, I'm sorry about that. I've been wanting some snow. They promised us some snow, we didn't get any. So send some of it down our way, down in Kansas City. I wanna build a snowman and throw snowballs at people I don't like. <laughs> no, I wouldn't really do that, but it's fun to think about a little. I don't really know why I said that because I like everybody. It's just the honorary kid in me coming out to play, I guess sneaking up behind that boy I like and throwing a snowball at the back of his head and then hiding really fast so he doesn't see me and of course he saw me because I'm not that stealthy. What Henri things did you do when you were a kid? Did you do Henri things or were you timid or were you really aggressive? and competitive. I wasn't very competitive, I don't think, but then I've heard tales about being really aggressive in volleyball, but I don't remember that. I guess these colors are helping me dream about summer. I really do kind of have spring fever. I've been taking the cat out every morning and supervising him because he came to us declawed, so we can't really just let him run around. But he sure does love it out there. Even when it's really cold, it was like 18 degrees, and that cat would not leave me alone until I took him out. And it was okay. I went out uh, for like five, seven minutes, and then I scooped him up and came back in. Okay, you guys, it's just about the end of the video. I want to say thank you so much for all your kind comments and every little like and subscribe that I've gotten recently. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are doing some really fun, creative stuff. And if you are, let me know what you're doing. And let me know how you're doing with this winter weather. And in the meantime, you guys, take care and I'll leave you with a fond farewell until we see each other again in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.